Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today, we're going to solve this problem from IIT Jam MS 2021, problem number 46. The problem says that let 5, 10, 4, 15, and 6 be an observed random sample of size 5 from a distribution with PDF f of, f of x given theta is e to the minus of x minus theta for x greater than or equals theta and 0 otherwise. But theta belongs to this interval from minus infinity up to 3 is unknown. Then the maximum likelihood estimate of theta based on the observed sample is equal to. So you have to find the Emily of theta, right? In short. And this distribution is nothing but the shifted exponential or the truncated exponential, you can see. So theta is actually so it's actually a problem of not just Emily, it's a problem of restricted Emily because the you know in general, in, in general, the theta could have been any real number, but here it's explicitly stated that theta cannot take anything greater than three. It is at most three, right? So you have to keep that in mind. These things have to be have to be kept in mind. Now, let us do the general problem. Just let x1 through xn be a random sample from the from the distribution. This just doing the general case. This x1 through xn from be a random sample from this distribution where theta belongs to this. The likelihood function is L of theta given the sample is nothing but the joint PDF, right? Which is nothing but product of the f of xi which is product of e to the minus of xi minus theta, where each of the xi, remember, each of the xi has to be greater than or equals theta, right? Because the PDF says that x has to be greater than or equals theta. Therefore, therefore, each of the xi has to be greater than or equals theta, right? This thing has to be remembered. Now, if each of them, if x1, x2, up to xn, if each of them is greater than or equals theta, then obviously the minimum of them is greater than or equals theta. That means this entire thing is equivalent to saying this x order 1 is greater than or equals theta, right? Same thing. This is, this is very important, this, this thing, this entire thing the range of theta. So that means the likelihood function is actually this thing. If theta is less than equals this quantity and zero otherwise, I have not written that zero otherwise scale just to you know, you know that. So the function is this if theta is less than equals x order one and zero otherwise. So this thing is actually e to the minus of summation xi plus n theta, right? For theta less than equals x order one. Now taking log natural log of log uh, the likelihood function that means the log, log likelihood function is minus summation xi plus n theta for theta less than equals x order 1 and the derivative is n which is positive therefore the function taking the derivative with respect to theta it's n right which is positive n is the sample size positive so the derivative is positive that means the function is actually increasing right function is increasing therefore the function is strictly increasing in this interval minus infinity up to x order 1 right Therefore, the this function actually you can easily see that this function, this function, actually this likelihood function is achieving its maximum at the point x order one. So you might think at this moment that the Emily is x order one, but remember one thing: that theta is belonging to this interval. You have to. That's why I said you have to keep this in mind. This theta belongs to this interval. It can be at most three. It cannot be greater than three. Right? Say an example. Suppose uh the case consider the case that x order one that means the minimum of, of them minimum of the sample is less than three that means in this case right so the likelihood function is in increasing increasing up to that it's increasing and then maybe it's decreasing after that obviously right, it's decreasing after that really that means here the function is actually achieving its maximum at the point x order one right this likelihood function because see, this function is actually increasing in this interval. After that, it's zero. So basically, this part is not even required, but you know what I mean. So this is actually increasing, right? This up to this is increasing. This this part will be zero. Because up after the after x order one is zero, right? So this part will be zero. This thing just just going on from this thing. So now, just so increasing up to x order one. After that, it's just zero, right? In that case, we can easily see that the function achieves its maximum point, maximum value at the point x order one. But if the case, if the if under this case that x order one is greater than three, then the function is obviously increasing, but it it will never reach x order one because because it just stops at the point three, right? Because theta is not defined. The theta is uh, bound to take, you know. To never take any value greater than three. So 
after that is it's not possible so, so it can take up to three right so the likelihood function is defined only up to three and after that's nothing so in that case the function the likelihood function is actually achieving its maximum at this point this this point at this three so you have to understand that the emily of theta is actually x order one if x order one is less than equals three and three if it is greater than three you can also say this in one thing that uh, just in one way that it's the emily the maximum likelihood estimate of theta the theta hat is actually nothing but the minimum of x order one and three since the x order one here the smallest sample value here is four right 5, 10, 4, 15, 6. So 4 is the smallest value. So x order 1 is the smallest value, but it is greater than 3, right? This case, it is greater than 3. Therefore, the function achieves its maximum at this point, not at 4. So the theta hat Emily is nothing but 3. So this is the answer. You have to understand. That. Here, this problem is actually a problem of restricted Emily. The Emily has been restricted because of the parameter space. The parameter space is not the generally the used one. It's as it has been reduced. The reduced one is this. In general, theta could have taken any value, but here it's explicitly stated that theta cannot take any value greater than three. So it's a restricted Emily problem. So yeah. So there you have it. The solution to this problem. So do like, share and subscribe to the channel for more exciting problems. See you till next time.